Ooh, I am back. I can tell by this shirt it's going to be a super interesting edit. So, starting the third channel. It is the channel where I vlog, where I uh, talk about my thoughts and my feelings. Uh, the reason that I came up with a third channel, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, is because I cracked out. And the reason I cracked out is because, cracked out is probably the wrong term. Um, so, let me backtrack a little bit. I had been making videos for my other two channels uh, for a while and was enjoying it. And uh, last summer, I uh, met an amazing old friend uh, who is a wonderful, amazing woman, uh, Elisa Craigie. And we started dating. And to be honest with you, uh, the second half of last year was literally the best uh, second half of any year that I've ever lived. I uh, had an amazing birthday where I had uh, uh, meatloaf cupcakes with mashed potato icing. I uh, had an amazing holiday season with uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Um, and I got to uh, meet Elisa's sons, Jason and Philip, and her daughter, Nalana, and like the whole crew. And I felt loved and appreciated, and it was amazing. I, I felt like I found purpose, like, well, it was kind of coming together. And what happened was uh, Nalana uh, had a blood clot. Uh, it was immediately like a small, like a minor blood clot, like in August or whatever. Nobody thought anything of it. And she's feeling a little tired around Christmas, and she'd been feeling kind of tired off and on, like a lot of the second half of the year. Nobody knew what it was, and. Things took a turn for the worse after Christmas and after the first of the year, uh, we took her to the emergency room and uh, longer, fairly painful story short, uh, we lost, we lost Nalana on the 14th of January. Um, and things kind of haven't been the same since. The last uh, three months have kind of been uh, horrible, to be honest with you. Um, well, horrible and uh, eye-opening. I've had a lot of people die around me. Uh, so what happens when you live long enough people just start die around you and what I got reminded of when Nalana died were things that other people who have been close to me die when they died like things I learned uh, when they died um, to talk about Nalana for a little bit um, Nalana was, was very impressive she was super self aware um, she had a, a definite emotional maturity what I was most impressed about her about was that she I wish more, if, if more people would like Nalana the world would be a better place she was the friend to people she was close to that she wanted like she went out of her way to do this like if I it's like she asked herself if I wanted to have like a best friend, if I wanted to 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 have a friend of mine that was going to be my friend, what are the things I want that person to do? And she just did them. Um, she was funny. She was uh, she like amazing stuff with makeup. Um, she was literally the best storyteller I've ever heard. Uh, Elise is right. I wish we we had uh, 
recording the bacon bit story. This is amazing bacon bit story that she told from when she worked uh, at Logan's. Um, that like you, she tell it and you just couldn't breathe. Like you're just laughing because you you just lay you're on the floor like clutching your side because you could not breathe. She was thoughtful. And she was her mother's best friend. Um, I guess my dad is my best friend in a lot of ways. Uh, like he knows you better than anybody else. You know, he, he can tell when something's wrong with me. And that's the kind of relationship they had. Uh, they held each other up. So, you know, watching Elisa, watching anybody you love or you care about lose a family member was, is always difficult, but then watching someone that you love and care about and you try to be there for them in whatever way you can, that's, that's difficult in its own way. I didn't realize I would ever find myself to be... Uh, the guy puttering around the house like trying to find something new like trying to find purpose because there's nothing you can do about it if somebody dies there's nothing you can do you know you you want to take pain away from the people around you and that's impossible um you want to find a way to comfort them and there's nothing you can, you can just bring them soup you can try to hold their hand there's nothing and so a lot of relationships don't survive that kind of trauma, and, and this one was no different. And so it's been a lot of uh, trying to rebuild, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but what I want to talk about about in that rebuilding was why I, was, I kind of veered off for a second. So Nalana taught me in her dying that it isn't the amount of time that you have in life is what you do with it. Because she was, she was really good to people. She lived a, 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 a full life. She understood people in a way that I'd never seen anybody her age understand people. And for people that know me will see this, that I will tell you the people that she reminded me of. Uh, she reminded me of when Jason Dooling died when I was in high school. He was my freshman year he's like 16 or 17 or whatever and just like but one of the nicest dudes you ever meet and up until the day he got super sick he was always about like how's everybody else doing um when Rooster died Ryan Walker died the same way like it that guy before he ever got sick he when we we were in uh, theater together at Wallace and I'd known him in high school, like kind of peripherally, he was like friends of people I was friends with. But what struck me about him was, is that he really was the type of dude that if you were having a bad day, he wanted to know why. He wanted to talk to you, like kind of, you know, he wanted to pick you up. He was a leader. He was like an actual leader. And Nalana was that way. I think she would have been... Uh, she could have been anything she really wanted to be, but she was that kind of just unselfish person. So, I struggled the last couple of months uh, trying to figure out, uh, just just grieving the loss of everything. Um, I kind of let myself go a little bit. Uh, grew this beard. These glasses are new. I finally got myself together to get my glasses together. Um, so I'm just trying to, I'm rebuilding, which is part of what this uh, channel is about. Like I, because the idea is, is that I talk about what's wrong with me or what my feelings are or what I'm thinking about. And so this channel is going to be, I, I, I kind of guess want to name this channel, ask me no questions to tell you no lies. Uh, where I just talk about what's going on or observations I might make or it's completely different from my musical channels like it's, it's just about 
me trying to talk my way through uh, the rest of my life, like being an adult, like what, what does that mean? Um, and so I'm like, I'll read the comments. If you have questions, I'll put them in the comment section. I'll answer them as best I can. One of the other things I want to do with this channel is I want to, because eventually people are going to be like, what do you think about blah, blah, blah. And I'll just research both sides of it and uh, present both sides of it on the channel. Very rarely will I actually come up with my own opinion on something because a lot of my opinions are, are honestly out the way. Like they're really like, out the, like there's the box and my opinions are on the floor down the hallway from the box. Like I'm, I look at the world in a way that doesn't, uh, that isn't conformist or isn't like, you know, it's, I'm not a joiner, so like it's absolutely against the grain. So, uh, that's pretty much it. I, I will try to leave every video I do with like one thought that I had. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm being more positive. I'm trying to look into getting, getting into therapy, which is part of what this is about. Just like if I start talking about my feelings and working my, you know, my mind out and see, you know, where it goes, things will, you know, the fog will lift. But one of the things I'm thinking about, which should almost be like its own separate video, is that there's this thing that you don't tell teenagers, and I get why you don't tell them, which is why I'm probably going to do this in another separate video, that nobody knows what they're doing. It's like this secret that, that you don't, you don't get led into the club on that you really, because it, it doesn't dawn on you until after a certain point when you get a certain age, uh, that you're like, oh, wait, this is what, this is life? Because I don't know, wait a minute, there's no manual? Like, there's no book? No, there really isn't. Um, it's one of those things where you, you really want to look at a younger person and be like, hey, don't freak out. But nobody has a So that's a big question I keep asking myself, like, what am I doing or what am I going to do? That's been like a lot that finding purpose was the biggest struggle I've, I've one of the bigger struggles I've uh, had to deal with the last few months. Is figuring out, okay, you, you, you lose everything. You lost a lot of the most important things to you. So you got to start over. What does that mean? What are you going to do? So some of that meant... Uh, going back to the gym, some of that meant uh, rereading some books, or start or restarting books, or finding books to read. Uh, some of that has meant uh, being vulnerable, at least you know, with myself. And some of that is, has been too. Uh, I do a lot more. Uh, I've never been like a super openly religious person. I pray a lot more than I used to. Um, which isn't, I'm not ashamed to admit it. It's just something that I wasn't, I didn't do before. But I, 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 I see the value in it when it comes to, you can't be, you can't be near people you want to be around or you worry about them or whatever. So, you know, it's like, well, I can't see you every day or if I can't, you know, hear from you, whatever, I'm praying for you. And that's what, and, and people say it and then they don't do it. So I make a, a point of before I go to bed, like really, like, have a list of people you pray for and be like, all right, you know, that sort of thing. So that's a that's a change. It's something that's the uh, that's different now than I probably was before. So that's what I got going on. That's what I'm doing. That's this channel. Um, I'm gonna do some different stuff. I'm gonna try something different. Which is why you see the the white wall? Probably say put something behind me where it doesn't look like. Hey, he's just a prisoner. Uh, so. Uh, feel free to put stuff in the comment section and I will try to answer it because I got to keep my mind sharp, got to keep busy, got to keep moving forward. So, I will see y'all in the next video. If you made it this far, thanks for listening.